In this Caribbean gem, a revolution is beginning. But this one is totally different than any revolution we've ever seen. It's a cultural revolution of art and history, of spirituality and freedom. And driven by passion, it's brought to the world. There's a vibrance to life here that I enjoy so much. I'm discovering little keys to Shiva's past and sharing our love of this gorgeous land. For us, coming to Haiti was more than a beautiful vacation. It was my third time here, and it felt like a special place for the two of us to get married. We wanted the shots of the wedding to be amazing. We had a filmmaker and a photographer flying in, but a sudden tropical storm coming later that week changed their plans. Now we had no one to shoot our wedding, but as God would have it, we would meet someone new. <laughs> I was taking a walk when another filmmaker, Lulu, spotted me with my camera. I brought Shiva to come and see this group of friendly filmmakers. We share stories about work and it becomes clear Lulu has done some incredible things for himself here. Et moi c'est des ça me vive mais depuis là c'est de me fermer hein on garde zoom pas travail on me dit là travail moi bloqué mon channel youtube à 67000 abonnés on gagne pas chez vous à 100000 et puis abonnés ça veut dire là c'est ça que me fait même quand on dit bon dieu m'a toujours dit bon dieu qui cause tout tout temps ça me fait me dire quand on était avec bon bien peut-être on va connait si n'a pas gagne suivi qui côté ça qui arrive ensemble avec même d'avle comme si que me jeune aussi pour une fois pour pour me tout franchir on me dit là Now that we have our filmmaker, we're off to see Shiva's mom, who just came off the plane. We're rushing to do the wedding early, but filled with excitement that it's finally happening. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's so long. It's so beautiful. Yeah, me? Yeah. Really? We knew we wanted our wedding to be more than material. For us, Haiti had energy we wanted to embrace. There's a strength here, embodied in the rocks themselves. The land still represents the strength of people unified towards freedom. Shiva is glowing, and we are surrounded by family and some new friends who would come to inspire us to begin to see a vision for Haiti larger than we could ever imagine. We knew we wanted
wanted to meet more people making changes. Shiva found out about another diaspora having a powerful impact in Haiti. Karine had come back to Haiti to manage a hospital that her dad runs in City Soleil. So one of the first things I'll say is that I always knew I was going to come back, I just didn't know how. My first year in America, Georgia, walking to school, and, and then two white boys in the car, if you, I'm walking, and they're like, go back to Africa, and the word, and they spit on me. And I'm like, first of all, I'm from Haiti, and then second of all, I want to go back. <laughs> Please help me right. go back. So that disrespect, even at 50, uh, school just started 15 even at 15 I'm like nah it's because I'm not home that you feel comfortable to call me an n-word one and two spit on me so I knew at 15 this wasn't it at every inner city in Haiti they're the first place to lose access to everything because people were scared to come the oxygen people didn't want to come we didn't have a vehicle at the time to go get the oxygen no ambulance was really willing to come by the time an ambulance came it was a little too late for my grandma she ended up passing so that was my wake-up call that okay if your own mom dies in your own hospital you've done as much as you can on your own and it's time for help the point was to keep people from dying because of lack of access to resources and I realized I needed bigger help NGOs and small businesses etc and but for that to happen you had to build trust it became a duty I'm like yo our ancestors did so much so much and I'm sitting here I'm scared to do this bit because I'm scared and as a believer I'm like you, you chose this for me I was a teacher I was supposed to be a teacher <laughs> just living my regular life but you put this in me I'm gonna need you God to make a way now the goal is to structure the hospital so that if something were to happen to me and him the whole project doesn't have to die mm -hmm. so we're creating the code of ethics we're creating the mm -hmm. manuals we're creating a board like these are young doctors who never thought when they went to medical school they never dreamt of being a medical director or the nursing director but we're like yo I'm in the States I see how that system works let's just apply what works there here but our way so my job is to bring the hospital up to international standard without cutting out the whole Haitian thing because the international standard works for the United States or wherever they are but us there's a reality too so it's it's raising the standard and also doing it within the context of our reality what Kareen is doing with her dad is inspiring and makes us think about what we can do in our field. Lulu wants to take this further, and so do we. Comme si pour un garçon qui là, wow, il est bel en pile. On va me dire là, là pas être comme si on est jeune fille, je suis sur le laptop là, je suis montré, je suis un bagage qui est bel en pile. Et je suis d'avant pile, je suis capable de faire ça. We know if we can unlock his potential, he can be one of the ones to bring Haitian culture to the world. With Lulu's help, we contacted local filmmakers and media professionals to invite them to a networking event. We spoke about the changes needed and made connections. An idea for a film school was born, and we felt joyful a step had been made in establishing something big in Haiti. Something organic but organized had come. Haiti has a history that affected the trajectory of the entire free world. Her story is vast. She says, like, you know there's the risk, you know it, but... Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather take the risk for my people. For my people. But when then take the risk and be disrespected and undervalued, and at least here I know this risk, so I might inspire someone enough mm. to do something, but over there I'm just a drop. I give him grace. I give him grace. So that's, it's more like personal, it's more like internal adjustment than the social 
uh, adjustment for me and the little comforts. Thank you. Mm. You're Aww. welcome. <laughs> I love that. The revolution of the past showed the world how powerful a free mind can be. Now our swords are the songs, the stories, the art, the movies that make this land and culture so beautiful. The battlefield is in each of our minds as we choose to turn our lens on the light. As in the past, many had to do their part. So too, in the future, we each have our role. On sait tout game moun lè ou gade video a ki te passe histoire sa ki pou an force. On di la ki tout dégager sa. Pandan lè video an tout di kèt. Nan sam yè la tou yi, on bon et pi commenter, i vinn santi la lè sa, s'il vinn wè gòn lòt moun ki menm jave. An mlè di lan, jan de video sa ou la bon pi moun tap konten men pou nou kontinye. Cabelos cor de mel, se olha pro céu. É você. Now Shiva and I have a plan ahead of us. With our art, we'll play our role, teaching others our skills and making documentaries and films that inspire people to see Haiti in all her beautiful colors. Cor de mel.